hey plumbers if you do this and you've had issues or you want to train your guys how to do it I'm going to teach you how to install this we put the roof on here and now we're ready to put the pipe on first thing I did was cut this out which is going to mirror the circle here uh, you don't want to go too big at first but I've got the nails underneath here removed okay and then I've got the nails removed underneath the next one and the next one which is gonna be able to give me some space in here to wiggle the boot in so that's my next thing let's do that I've got it in there now I've got to trim the shingles away from the boot you want to use a hook blade hook blade looks like this you buy them at the hardware store these are for cutting shingles and stuff so I've got the hook blade wouldn't recommend doing that without and I'm going to cut this back now put some nails around it and then yeah this is the type of sealant you need to use this is roof cement tar so over here on this side I've got these two nails running up the side of it and water will come down, hit here, and it'll want to soak underneath these shingles and go this way. So those nails, that one especially, is kind of right in the path of the water coming down here. You especially don't want to put nails like really low, and then you also don't want to put nails on the corners because water will get underneath this flange, hit the bottom of your nail. So a lot of guys will do it here. Don't do that. That's why I've got the two there out of the path of the water here and also out of the path of the water there. Uh, now the wet dry roof cement is going to go here. I've got it covering my nails. That's more than enough right there. And that's going to bond this shingle to the plastic flange and any water coming down the top can't jump that way. So it's going to be stuck here and it'll have to exit the roof there. I'm going to finish doing the cement, put some more nails in the shingles caulk these nails and the top just for redundancy with a um, like a silicone type sealant but you don't want to use the roof cement because that won't last out in the UV it'll only last underneath where it's protected by something all right we're good to go and I wanted also to say this is the tool I used to take the nails out get that nice sharp edge I'm trying to get focused here but anyway it's got a nice sharp edge you can work that underneath the shingles or the nails and the shingles and get those nails popped up this is the best thing and also this I kind of use that edge with all the goo on it to work the tar strip loose uh, because it's a new construction these shingles are going to seal back down and it's a little warm so I don't have to seal them down but if for some reason you had to seal shingles back down after you've broken the seal, use a little bit of roof cement, a couple dabs will do the trick. So what you're trying to do as a plumber, I would presume is get these things in and then not get called back for a leak on them. And that is how it would be installed if a roofing crew did it and the roofing crew knew what they were doing. So there you go, that little Rain channel around the top, direct all the water coming down the top, out around the sides, and out. And I am out. Bye. One other thing I forgot to mention about this, the roof cement's going to be in the roofing section at Home Depot or Lowe's. This is like three bucks for a tube. And this is also what you want to use if you make a mistake that needs to be fixed or something like that. So on this other one over here, I had to put in another piece of shingle, and so I cut it here and I put it in a, yeah, that was a factory. So I cut it here, which means that now I've got a root, a nail pretty close to this keyway. Water gets into the keyway here and starts to run in either direction. And if it hits that nail, that's a leak. So I'm gonna cover that with some roof cement um, and that'll fix that. So you wanna keep that roof cement handy for other things as well.